Let's look at how to add binary numbers. There are basically three rules that you need to remember in order to be able to add two binary numbers. The rules are that 1 plus 0 equals 1. Nothing too mind-blowing at this stage. The second rule is that 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. And the third rule is that 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1, 1. Now, if you're fairly familiar with binary already, then you'll have worked out that the values of these are 1, 2 and 3, and that these are the binary numbers for 1, 2 and 3. Remember, if you have your binary place value table, 1, 2, 4, 8, and so forth, that to make the number 1, obviously, it's simply a 1. To make the number 2, we have a 1 in the 2 column and a 0 there. And to make the number 3, we need a 1 in the 2 column and a 1 in the 1 column, 2 plus 1 equaling 3. So 1, 2, 3 in binary is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if you can remember those rules, that's all you need in order to be able to add two binary numbers. Let's see how it works. For this exercise, I'm going to use the binary number 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And the number I'm going to add to that is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, the one piece of advice that I will give you is that it is really important when adding two binary numbers to keep your columns strictly in columns. If you have squared paper, that's ideal. If not, you may want to draw it or at least write really large and clear each of the digits so that they line up neatly. It's very easy to make a mistake. And if you're in an exam situation and a little rushed, then it's easy to end up making a mistake and not realizing it at all. So bearing in mind the three rules that I just explained, let's do this addition. So zero plus one. If you can't remember the rule, at least work out what a naught and a 1 would be, the answer of course being 1, and then remember what a 1 is in binary. Don't have any problem at all if you need to writing out your binary place value table, but in this case 0 and 1 is of course simply 1. Then we come on to the second column. 1 plus 1, well we know in decimal that would be 2. And we know that 2 in binary is 1, 0. So this is our second rule. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So just as we would with any addition, we put the 0 here and we carry the 1. Depending on the method you use for addition normally, you may put this 1 up here at the top. I tend to put it down below, but it doesn't matter as long as you carry it across to the next column. OK, let's move on to the next column, column 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1. Normally, of course, we would say that that would make 3. In binary, the number 3 is represented by 1, 1. This is our third rule that I mentioned earlier on. So 1, 1, we put the units 1 there and then carry the other one across to the next column. So now let's add up the next column. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is, of course, just 1. Now we move on to our fifth column. 1 plus 1 is, of course, 1, 0 or 2. So the 0 goes here, the units, and we carry across the next number. Going on to column 6, 0 plus 1 plus 1, 
normally we would make two. Two in binary is one zero. So we put a zero there and carry the one. Okay, column seven. Zero plus one plus one again makes zero one. Oh, sorry, one zero. So put a one there, zero there, cross that out. And now finally, we have one, zero, one. So one plus zero plus one, two, or in binary, one, zero. So you put the zero there, carry the one across. There's nothing to add, so we finally bring that one up. And so the answer to this number plus this number is one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one. So that is simply how to add two binary numbers. If you want to, to prove, of course, that it works, and this is always a good security check to do if you have time in an exam, is to convert this top number to decimal, convert the bottom number to decimal, add those two decimal numbers together, and then convert the answer that you've got to decimal and check that that matches the answer that you got from your decimal addition. Now, one other question that you might face in an exam is about the issue you might have with this particular addition, or rather an issue that the computer might have. The secret here is to look at the length of the numbers. If I draw a line here, you can say that the two numbers that we were given to add up are eight bits long, or of course, as we normally refer to that, a byte. So the data here is one byte in length, and we have added those two one byte numbers. But the answer doesn't fit into a single byte. It has overrun. It has overflowed into a second byte. And so we have two single byte numbers that result in a byte and a bit. And that, if the programmer hasn't been careful, could result in a program error. So if we have two numbers that add together to create a number which is larger than the amount of memory used to store each individual numbers, we might have an overflow error. And that's something which the exam board might possibly ask you in a follow-up question to an addition question like this that results in a number that is nine bits long. I hope this makes it clear, but if you do have any questions about anything I've covered in this video, please do leave a comment below.